Welcome to the Google Cloud Security Showcase, a special web series where we'll focus on security use cases that customers can solve with G Suite. My name is Neil, and I'm a product manager at Google Cloud. Today, we'll be walking through one of the top questions we get from customers. What are some protections against phishing and malware, and how do I configure them? First, let's start with the advanced phishing and malware controls. You can find these settings by navigating to the safety section of the Gmail settings in the admin console. The controls you'll find in this area allow you to enable protections for specific types of threats. Today, there are three categories of controls, attachments, links and external images, and spoofing and authentication. For each setting, you can choose whether to enable it and what action to take on any messages that match the enabled setting. For settings that affect particular messages, you can choose to keep a matching message in the user's inbox with a warning banner, to move the message directly to the spam folder, or even to move the message to an admin quarantine. These settings can also be enabled for the entire domain or on a per organizational unit basis. Now, let's take a quick look at a few of the settings in this area. Let's start with attachments. The first setting, is protect against encrypted attachments from untrusted senders. Encrypted attachments cannot be scanned for malware. This setting allows you to flag any encrypted messages sent to your users by entities they haven't communicated with before. The next setting is protect against attachments with scripts from untrusted senders. Many malware infections happen via malicious scripts and documents. To reduce this threat vector, this setting allows you to flag scripts from untrusted senders. The final setting here is protect against anomalous attachment types. Uncommon and archaic file types are often used to spread malware, and attachment types that are commonly seen in one domain may be incredibly rare in another. This setting allows you to flag any message that contains an attachment with a type that's exceedingly rare for your domain. Next, let's take a look at two settings in the Links and External Images section. The first setting here is Identify Links Behind Shortened URLs. Attackers often use URL shorteners to obfuscate malicious links. This setting allows G Suite to unwind these URLs to discover malicious content. Next, let's look at Scan Linked Images. This allows for scanning of images referenced by links to find hidden malicious content. Finally, let's take a quick look at the spoofing and authentication section. There are a number of settings in this section, but let's take a look at a few. First, protect against domain spoofing based on similar domain names. This setting protects against messages that come from domains that look visually similar to trusted ones. Next, protect against spoofing of employee names. This setting protects against messages where the email sender's name is a name in your company directory, but the email is not from your domain or domain aliases. And finally, protect against inbound email spoofing your domain. This setting protects against messages that are unauthenticated and pretending to be from your domain. There are a few settings in this section that we haven't discussed, and we'd encourage you to take a look at them all. As you've probably noticed, at the bottom of each section is a checkbox that says apply future recommended settings automatically. Enabling this checkbox will allow you to automatically stay up to date with future settings we may build, ensuring that your domain stays optimally protected. The other feature we wanted to highlight today was Security Sandbox. If you're a G Suite Enterprise Edition user, you'll find this setting in the Advanced Settings page under Gmail Settings in the Spam, Phishing, and Malware section. The Security Sandbox feature is very effective at catching unknown and zero-day malware. It detects the presence of unknown malware and attachments by virtually executing them in a private, secure sandbox environment and analyzing the side effects on the operating system to determine malicious behaviors. The attachments are detonated within a sandbox the exact same way as they would be if an actual user had clicked on it. 
This is done in a matter of minutes prior to the delivery of the email and provides users with an extra layer of security. You can enable Security Sandbox by simply enabling this checkbox. Additionally, you can set up custom rules for when to run the Security Sandbox by creating a Security Sandbox rule. This will allow you to create custom logic, like exempting intra-domain traffic from sandboxing or exempting traffic from a particular IP. Finally, using content compliance rules, you can move malware caught by the sandbox straight to an admin-controlled quarantine. Thank you for tuning in. Please visit cloud.google.com security for more content from Google Cloud Experts.